A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a shocking turn of events, Hassan Nasrallah, the long-standing leader of the militant group Hezbollah, has been confirmed dead following a series of Israeli airstrikes in the Daia area of southern Beirut. The 64-year-old Nasrallah had been at the helm of Hezbollah for over 30 years, during which he transformed the organization into a formidable military and political force within Lebanon and a significant adversary to Israel. His leadership marked a pivotal era for Hezbollah, which has been involved in numerous conflicts with Israel, most notably the 2006 war that saw intense fighting and significant casualties on both sides. Nasrallah's death marks a critical juncture in the ongoing conflict, raising questions about the future of Hezbollah and the broader regional dynamics. Witnesses reported that the airstrikes were incredibly powerful, creating a mushroom cloud that could be seen from miles away. The strikes targeted Nasrallah's bunker, where it is believed he was meeting with other high-ranking Hezbollah officials. Israeli military sources confirmed that Nasrallah was the intended target, with the airstrikes aimed at crippling the group's leadership. The Israeli Defense Forces IDF, have been on high alert following the strikes, anticipating potential retaliatory actions from Hezbollah and its allies. Hezbollah, which was established in the early 1980s in response to the Israeli occupation of southern Lebanon, has grown into a major player in the region, bolstered by support from Iran. Under Nasrallah's leadership, the group developed a significant arsenal of weapons, including ballistic missiles capable of reaching major Israeli cities. His rhetoric consistently framed Israel as an existential threat to Lebanon and the broader Muslim community, urging resistance against what he termed foreign aggression. In the wake of Nasrallah's death, many analysts are questioning the future of Hezbollah. While the group has faced significant challenges in the past, including internal dissent and external military pressure, Nasrallah's leadership provided a unifying figure for its supporters. The loss of such a prominent leader could lead to fragmentation within the group, although Hezbollah has historically shown resilience in the face of adversity. The immediate aftermath of the airstrikes has seen a surge in violence, with reports of retaliatory rocket fire from Hezbollah into northern Israel. Israeli officials have stated that they are prepared for a prolonged conflict, emphasizing their commitment to dismantling Hezbollah's military capabilities. The situation remains volatile, with both sides bracing for further escalations. As the death toll across Lebanon continues to rise, now exceeding 1,000, the humanitarian impact of the ongoing conflict cannot be overstated. Civilians are bearing the brunt of the violence, with many fleeing their homes in search of safety. International calls for a ceasefire and diplomatic engagement are growing, but the path to peace remains fraught with challenges. In conclusion, Hassan Nasrallah's death represents a significant turning point in the Middle Eastern conflict landscape. With Hezbollah's leadership now in question and the potential for increased violence on the horizon, the region stands at a crossroads. Observers are left to ponder what the future holds for Lebanon, Hezbollah, and the broader geopolitical dynamics at play. As the world watches closely, the coming days and weeks will be crucial in determining the next chapter of this ongoing saga. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.